Hello and welcome to Think About It, where we have just two primary goals. One, to get you to think about it, and two, to make more sense than Chris Matthews. I've been searching for a way to convey an illustration regarding the bizarre behavior taking place in Washington. At no point in my lifetime can I recall an instance where the vast majority of the American people have clearly, loudly, consistently expressed their views about an issue only to have it completely and totally ignored by one political party. I don't understand why the Democratic Party and the liberals want to commit political suicide and to plunge our nation into a new chapter of socialistic control. But they do. It's clear. When they use terms like, by any means necessary, and we will get this done, and then you see the backroom negotiations and the various ways they're trying to skirt around your views, something's not right. You see, I view elected representatives as kind of like a mirror. They are supposed to simply reflect your views. They're not supposed to distort your views. They are supposed to listen to you, take what you have said to them, and vote that way. They are supposed to look into the mirror of their constituents and simply replicate those views. But instead, Congress these days looks more like a funhouse, where they see what you represent, they hear what you say, they take it and then distort it in a bunch of different ways that makes you feel like perhaps you've plunged into a funhouse that you cannot escape. We're hearing overwhelming rejection from the American people of Obamacare. But what are we hearing from Obama? and from Pelosi, and from Reed. Just the opposite. We're hearing that you're too stupid. You don't really know what you want. You just don't know what this legislation means. And at the same time, tucked away in a corner of Michigan's tiny upper peninsula, one representative, who may very well cave before it's all said and done, but one representative has taken a principled stand and a guy who lives in a district nobody in D.C. has ever visited may very well be able to help bring this whole thing to a halt. My point to you is this. Unless your elected representative is accurately reflecting your views, you've got some work to do. You've got some phone calls to make, some emails to write, some protests to organize. We know it can work. And here we are, right down to the deadline, where you have to ask yourself this question. Am I living in a fun house, or do my elected representatives truly reflect my point of view? Is it a mirror, or is it a complete fun house distortion, where at the risk of their own political futures, they're strangely willing to take this country down the tubes? That's the question for Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Think about it.